will tell you how you can download the Binge application from the Espresso website. First, you need to go to Internet Explorer where you need to type myespresso.com. Once the My Espresso website opens, you will see a second tab on top which is called Platforms You Will Love. You need to click on that. Over here, all the platform related information is given and the key features have been given which are available on the Espresso app. At the end, you will see a link for Binge. Over here, you need to click on Learn More. As you click on Learn More, you will get all the information related to Binge, such as what are the key features of Binge. You will see a download button here which you need to click. As soon as you click on the download, here you will see the configuration. You will come to know which is the minimum operating system which needs to be on your computer and if you want better performance, then which configuration you should use. Here, two clickable action points are given where you need to click on Download Binge. As soon as you click on Download, the downloading will start below. If you have any problem in using Binge Operating, then you can use Download.net which is supporting the Binge application. That is, of course, if your system does not have .NET. You can see that my Binge setup has started getting downloaded. If your internet service provider is good, then you will take a maximum of 2 to 3 minutes. And after downloading, you can see it in downloads which you need to then install. After installing, you will see a shortcut created on your desktop called Binge. You need to double click on Binge. Then your Binge will start running. As soon as your Binge opens, you will first see the login window. You can log in over here with your mobile number, email ID or customer ID. There is a two-factor authentication over here. So you have to put your mobile number or customer ID. After that, you need to put your password, then your DOB or PAN. And a link has been given here in case you forget something. And if you want to change your password, then how can you do that? Come, let's find out how you can change your password. Over here, first you need to mention your customer ID. After that, you need to click on forget. You will be able to see your customer ID over here. After that, you need to click on verify OTP. As soon as you click on verify OTP, you will get the OTP on your registered mobile number and registered email ID. You need to put the OTP over here. And then click on Submit. As soon as the OTP is verified, you will be able to set your new password here. As you can see, we have the password rules over here. If that password is matching with my password, then everything will become green. Thereafter, you have to click on Submit. As soon as you submit, your password would have changed. After that, you can log in to Binge. As soon as you log in, your data will get loaded over here.
I would like to see the watch list over here. So you have to click on the watch list. As soon as you click on watch list, a blank watch list will open. If there is some watch list that you have saved, then you can see it here on the right hand side. You can also see the predefined over here such as NSC, BSC, NSEFO and MCX related. If you have saved any watch list, then that will get loaded over here. From here, you can buy and sell with one click. You have to select the stock and then click on buy. Similarly, if you want to sell, then you can sell all. The stock which you had selected, you can buy and sell it quickly from here. There are many more options available here, which you will get by right clicking. You can have buy, sell, advance order, add script. Plus you have the option of opening the chart over here. In watch list, a new feature has been added called event and signal, where if there is any event with regards to a particular stock that you have set, you will be able to view that. If you want to add any comment, you can add that as well. On the right hand side, you will see the setting. When you click on setting, you will get the watch list related setting opening up over here. Now you can set the action mouse click over here. What do you want to open with a single mouse click and what with a double mouse click? You can also change the font color of the watch list. You get a column selection option over here. Then you have the event signal, which you had seen earlier. So you can set all the event signals from here. Here you will see the add script button from where you can add the script to your watch list. If I want to look for a nifty call, then I just need to type and I will get the results on top. If I just want to see the nifty call, then I need to type nifty call 11400. You will start seeing the 11400 call. If I want to see the nifty put, then it is nifty put 11500. You need to type this and you will be able to see the 11500 put. To add, you need to select an add. So you can see that it has been added at the back. Similarly, you can search with the ACC script as well. So you can see that first I need to put the name of the script and then the strike price needs to be added. Thereafter, you will be able to start seeing the options. You can add it to the watch list. Investment and securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.